I've been doing AI research at MIT, uh, as a professor there for many years, and as recently as six years ago, almost all my colleagues thought that building a machine that could master language and knowledge, kind of at the level of, of ChatGPT4, was decades away. Maybe it would happen in, in 2050. And they were obviously all wrong, because it already happened. And since then, <clears throat> AI has gone from kind of high school level to kind of college level to PhD level to professor level and beyond in and, and, and some areas, which um, leads us close to the point where, which, which the godfather of the whole field, Alan Turing, talked about in 1951. He said, look, folks, if you ever make machines that are just better, can outthink us in every way, you know, they're going to take control. That's the default outcome. But he said, chill out, it's far away, don't worry. I'll give you a test, though, a canary in the coal mine mm -hmm. when you need to pay attention. It's called the Turing test. That's when machines can master language and knowledge, <laughs> and which is what's now happened with, uh, with ChatGPT4 and, and, and so on. And so basically, after a lot of hype and, and failed promises, we're now at the point where we're very close to a, probably the most important um, fork in the road in, in human history, where we have to ask ourselves, are we going to somehow build inspiring tools that help us do everything better and cure diseases and make us prosperous and strong, or are we going to just sort of throw away the keys to the planet by building some alien, amoral machine species that just sort of replaces us? 